There is a huge defensive mistake beginner players make and players in the lower divisions in FC24. And that defensive mistake is chasing the ball all the time in game, wanting to win the ball. And there's a big disadvantage when you chase the ball all the time. That's why you guys are conceding goals all the time. Now in this video, I explain one section. I made examples of when you chase the ball, what happens and when you do not chase the ball. Anyways, guys, if you guys want to learn something, watch this video. And also the beginner players, forget about this here. Don't chase this ball all the time. Forget about it, guys, when you're in the game. I'll explain why you should forget about a ball. Stay tuned. Okay, guys, firstly, I'm going to teach you guys and show you guys the different jockey techniques. The first jockey technique is the accelerate and brake technique. Accelerate being the R2 button. On PlayStation, then slash Xbox, it will be RT. Then the brake button on PlayStation will be L2. And, and on Xbox, it will be LT. Okay? When you will use this when your opponent is far from you. And maybe your opponent is making a run or else he's, you know, about to distribute the ball. Okay, look here. I'm running. My opponent maybe is running towards space. Running. R2. L2, I'm braking. As you guys can see, watch my controller. So you look, I'm running diagonally, L2, breaking, then murdering my opponent, you see. So that's the first technique I want you guys to use. You can use it inside a box or outside a box. As you guys can see, I use it inside a box there. So that's the first technique. Second, jockey technique is a fast jockey technique. When to use a fast jockey technique will be outside a box. Just look here. I'm fast jockeying. See. I'm applying pressure, I'm going back and forth. Applying pressure and going back. As you can see there, I block the angle. So you guys can see the fast jockey cho technique. You guys must mainly use it outside the box. The last jockey technique will be the slow jockey, like us here. Mainly use this inside the box, as you guys can see. So those are the three jockey techniques. Now guys, the first example is, I'm gonna show you guys when you focus on the ball, all the time what happens watch this and learn guys here's the live play example where I focus only on the ball pay close attention here guys I want to explain why you shouldn't focus on the ball 24 7 in a game okay have a look here he's taking a throwing I selected this player now I switch to this player I'm going to chase the ball I, I never yet, but look, I'm chasing the ball, look. I'd aimlessly run. I never cut passing lanes, nothing. And look what happened. Big gap here, aimlessly chasing the ball. Look, there's a big gap here. As you guys can see. So, I'm not even being passive and aggressive, nothing. Okay, but anyway, let's move on, okay? Look, I'm aimlessly chasing the ball. Look, what? gaps that's opening up and also i'm inviting him to you know pass to his other players this player is free and he aimlessly just run up and you know chase the ball with that player and look what's happening gaps are opening up yeah i selected kyle walker aimlessly chasing the ball look he quickly made a pass to that player yeah with my center back aimlessly chasing and look what happened who's there now to protect the ball or protect the goalie there's a big gap at the back because um, my main priority is focusing on a ball that's my main priority here and look what the disadvantage this is let's move on as you guys can see i'm chasing back chasing back focusing only on the ball they took a shot he never scored but you see the disadvantages, what gaps it open up when you only focus on a ball. Yeah, watch. I'm full up, as you guys can see, my run button. I'm pressing it down, I'm pushing my analog, uh, uh, my left stick in that direction. I'm chasing after the ball, look again. I'm not being passive, nothing. I'm being only fully aggressive. That's where passive and aggressive defending comes in. See, chasing after the ball, as you guys can see, the big gap. Look, I never even get a ball. 
again here's also another good example i want to show you guys see i'm running down this way I'm, I'm waiting for him to come and just look, look what i end up doing many players do this mistake and please guys stop doing this mistake many beginner players do this see i'm chasing from behind it's a bit of a disadvantage because why i'm leaving a big gap here and many players do this many beginner players i also used to do it instead of chasing behind you guys should run diagonally because then you'll see you'll cover this gap so remember that to run diagonally instead of running behind the player behind your opponent never run behind your opponent look what happened here run up behind him i never run diagonally nothing i did this on purpose yeah he did a cutback and he scored as you guys can see so learn from these little mistakes guys yeah here's another example see yeah i selected that player yeah i'm fully committing with this player yeah then i switch back to him look focusing only on the ball and there uh he scored yeah in this instance what i should have done so you guys must remember i did this on purpose what i should have done in this instance i should have selected for run second man press with him but instead I did it here purposely the wrong way. So to show you guys, playing like us is just gonna end you up losing games and you're gonna concede a lot of goals. So that's what happened. He ended up scoring there because I'm only focusing on the ball. That's my main priority. So remember, do not focus on the ball. Now check out examples when I don't focus on the ball. Okay guys, here we are. My opponent is kicking off right now. Pay close attention to what I'm about to teach you guys. And also remember, keywords are very important. This is what will help you to remember things in the game. And what I teach in the tutorials. Pay close attention, you guys. See, I'm not chasing after my opponent. I'm waiting for him to come towards me. There, I switch to Rudy. From there, I'm like slow jockeying, okay? As you guys can see, slow jockeying, a little bit of second man pressed and letting go. Yeah, I switch to Bellingham. Switch to Rudy again, which I shouldn't have, to, I should have stick with Bellingham. But anyway, there I switch to my center back. Now why I switch to my center back? Just to show my opponent you're not. Hello, I'm present in the game. That's all. Yeah, I switch to my center back. From there, I switch to my other center back. Just to show him I'm present. Now I'm being... A little bit passive i'm going back why am i going back i'm going past i'm being passive because why there's big gap remember guys now since the patch is here remember there's always going to be this big defensive gap as you guys can see so this gap you guys need to uh make sure you're not you don't give the opponent that space like look why i'm going back to cover this whole huge gap here that's why i'm going back and that's being a, a passive basically i can't be if i to be fully aggressive you guys know what will happen basically so yeah i'm passive i'm covering that space see there i'm being a little bit aggressive i was applying a pressure with Varan. see passive and aggressive as you guys can see i'm moving forward and back as you guys can see i was using the slow jockey I'm moving forward and back yeah, as you guys can see, I'm switching. I'm covering the passing lane. So remember, keyword, cover passing lanes, guys. Cover passing lanes. I'll remind you guys. See, covering passing lanes there. I was lucky. I, Mandy got a ball, I think, so I switched to him or did a game switch to him. Let's see. I, that's weird. I never even switched to him. Yeah, in this instance, as you guys can see, Look here, I selected this player here, which is a big mistake. Don't ever, ever press from behind. Sometimes, especially if you don't ever play with a shoulder tackle, uh, or with the bruiser anticipate shoulder tackle play style. Anyway, yeah, as you guys can see, I'm pressing here from behind. Up. I need to defend this whole section. And as you guys can see, look at a gap. This gap, that's why defending is so hard. This gap is a big problem for players who can't defend properly that's why 
I'm making this video to teach you guys. Okay, look here. In this instance, I'm pressing from behind there. As you can see, I'm pressing with Bruno Fernandes, but I never win the ball. Yeah, watch what I do here. I'm applying their second man press. I switch to Walker. Yeah, just watch what I do here. This player here is a runner. As you guys can see, look how much of space he has. Guys can see this big gap. Okay, look what I do here. At the L1 switch, then you see Bellingham got a ball. Wait, did I L1 switch? Yes, 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 I did. Wait, or did I right stick switch? Yeah, see, I had a right stick switch actually, and that's how Bellingham got a ball. You see? See, that's why tracking run, uh, runners are very important. That's where right stick switching comes in hand. My opponent's kicking off, as you can see. I'm using the slow jockey and I'm applying second man press, as you can see, where's my controller? And I'm applying pressure. See, when opponent, when opponent, like your opponent goes back, that's a win for you guys. You guys don't need to get a ball. See, my opponent went back. That's a huge win for me. They have switched again, as you guys can see, covering passing lanes. See, running diagonally with Palingam. Using a little bit of the fast jockey. Now I stop using the fast jockey, running. See, also another thing, guys, the accelerate and brake technique. I always use it. As you guys can see, my controller run. Accelerate and brake technique. And there I managed to get a ball from me with Mandy. Running. See, and also second man press. I'm making sure I cover the passing lanes while applying pressure. There, yeah. as you can see, he made that pass. Look here. Yeah. I'm aware. I switched to that player there. Like now, I'm thinking ahead, what's he gonna do? Then, I just switched to Kyle Walker. Now look, I'm not being fully aggressive, as you guys can see. Applying little pressure, going back. As you guys can see, that's another huge win for me. When he recycled the ball, that's a huge win for him, me. Now you see, I never overcommit. Biggest mistake, biggest, biggest mistake lower tier players make is overcommitting. Remember that keyword, overcommitting. Do not overcommit. There you saw with Kyle Walker, I never overcommit. So then there he's pushing back. He doesn't know what to do. I'm running using the accelerate and brake technique. Now I'm using the slow jockey and I'm second man pressing. Look, for run second man pressing. I stop second man pressing, I switch to Mandy. From there, as you guys can see, I'm using the run button now. Second man pressing for a while, but there's no one. Okay, if, if, if a run comes, there's a second man press. He's a little bit out of position. Okay, then I stop using the second man press for a while. Now, what am I doing here in this instance? I'm just pushing him forward. As you guys can see, I'm pushing him backwards. So remember keyword pushing backwards because you guys see what's happening. I'm giving him a tough time using these techniques. Accelerate and brake technique, second man press. Also the slow jockey I'm using it. I told you guys when to use it. Now just watch. I'm just pushing him forward. As you can see, I'm pushing him backwards in there. I want the ball there. See, I got the ball out of my way. Yeah, applying pressure. Being passive and aggressive, running diagonally, as you guys can see. They I never get a ball there. Switching again. I switch to Rudy. See, I L1 switch to Rudy. Now I'm running diagonally. I'm covering that space. So remember, guys, keyword cover the space. Do not worry about the ball. I will repeat myself. Keyword cover the space train your eyes soon when I get an eye track I'll, I'll make sure you're not I uh, you guys will be able to see where I'm looking but train your eyes to look everywhere around the virtual pitch which is very important that will make you analyze which space you need to close that's what I'm doing here so remember that guys look around the whole virtual pitch not only one section don't only look where the ball is try to read your opponent where is he going? Okay, here's another example. Look, look, I'm gonna show you. Look, second man press I'm using for a while. After that, I switch to Walker. 
See, yeah, look here, that's why second man press is a huge W. Look here, if I wasn't using second man press, I wouldn't have got the ball over. But be because you see, he wants to pass to him. That's why second man press is very important. Look, he wants to pass to him. And look here, this icon is appearing here. This green icon is a second man press. But you guys need to use it sparingly. Do not always spam second man press. Hear me out loud. Keyword, do not spam second man press. Use it sparingly and knowing when to use it. Like you see, for example, with, I'll make a video separately on second man press, how to use it effectively. But remember, if you select like basically a player from here, from the inside, and you use second man press, a player from the outside is in a press. If I select like, but I just want to explain, if I select this player here, and, here, and I second man press, this player here is in a second man press. You guys understand? If I select, let me go back. If I select this player here, Varane's in the second man press. So that's how second man press works. If you select the player from the inside, the player from the outside will second man press. Yeah, I selected the player from the inside, the player from the outside second man pressing. And look what has uh, saved me. I managed to get a ball. Just look. All thanks to the second man press. So guys, remember, use second man press effectively. Here's another example. Look here. Like here's a good example. See. Yeah. I selected this player here. Always remember this keyword. Always when your opponent is by the wing. Select your center backs. Press with your left back or right back. You know what I'm saying? Select your center back and press with this player here. Second man press with him. Why? You'll see in this instance. Because you're killing two birds with one stone. Like, look, I'm covering the passing lane. Number one. Number two, I'm, I'm applying pressure on the ball holder. Look. Second man pressing, then their parcel press. As you can see, I kept him busy and also I won the ball over, guys. Here are a few examples where I do not focus on chasing the ball. My main goal is covering the empty space and also covering passing lanes so I do not leave open gaps for my opponent. I do not let him get past easily. They look, look here, I'll play. I switch to that player there. From here in this instance, I'm not chasing after the ball. I'm going, I'm retrieving back. I'm being like passive and aggressive at the same time. They switch to Mbappe. Yeah, my objective is not quickly to get a ball. Then I'm, I switch to my center back. Going back with Rudy, covering this passing lane. I'm still still with Rudy. Henri has a ball. I'm going back. You see, I'm not giving my opponent that much of a chance. See, now when I push him back, as you can see, he doesn't know in this instance what to do. So remember, if you push your opponent back, that's a win for you. Look, he got no passing options now you see imagine like as i explained early on if i had to run up here full charge open you know full charge and wanting to get a ball and win it over what would have happened there wouldn't have been anyone to cover this player here as you can see he would have been wide open and my center back will be forced to i'll be forced to switch to him so you see what a we what a huge win is it when you do not focus on the ball it's a big win because if he pu uh, pushes back you force him to go you force your opponent to go back that's a big win for you because you remember your main goal is to protect the goalie and protect the center see he doesn't know what to do see i'm pushing him back as you can see there now i switch to kyle walker from there, in this instance, I was supposed to switch to this play, but I never in time. Mbappe got a ball, I switched to him. I was supposed to switch to my center back. I made a mistake there, I was supposed to do L1 switch. But anyway, look, Mbappe has a ball, I do not panic. See, I'm slow jogging. My main objective isn't to get a ball here. The main objective is, as you can see there, look, I'm slow jogging, watch my controller. I'll replay. My main objective is just to block the angle towards goal. And look, slow jockey, and I did it. Look, Ru uh, Rudika blocked the angle towards goal, as you can see. Yeah, I'll replay it. Okay, look, 
Mbappe has the ball. Watch my controller also. I'm blocking angle towards goal. Varane is slow jogging. There, Rudiger blocked the angle towards goal. So you see, my main objective is not to chase the ball. Here again, there, you see I won the ball over. So you see, when you don't focus on the ball, and the main goal is, I'll tell you guys, and say this out loud, focus on the ball when your opponent is close towards you, when you're in a 1v1 situation and you know you can win the ball over. Then, you know, either press the tackle button or else uh, hold on R2 and L2 on PlayStation and, put your, and push your left stick in that direction to win the ball over. Do not make it the number one prime primary focus to focus on the ball 24 7 stop it because as you can see i'm not focusing on the ball and look i never concede easily there he could have easily scored with mbappe yeah look going with kyle walker going backwards as you can see if i had to in this instance yeah Andre has the ball if i had to like say for instance here's kyle walker if i had to run and chase the ball, what would have happened? There would have been a huge gap here. And this player here would have easily got through and score. So remember, do not focus on the ball. As you guys can see in the earlier examples, what happened when I was focusing on the ball. Look, I do not worry about the ball. Walker's there, I'm running diagonally. Now I'm switching to my center back. I'm, maybe, you know, I'm trying to... I don't know what I was doing. I think so. I was trying to cover this player here. Yeah. But anyway, they I'm switching with Walker. As you can see, I'm slow jockeying. I'm not giving my opponent a chance. Here again, I did fast jockey for a while. I switch to that player now. See. I gave him a hard time to score. As you can see, the goalkeeper blocked that. Here, for instance, I'm going to show you. I'm my number one primary, uh, primary focus is not the ball. My goal is to go where the ball is going to be. If you understand what I'm saying, I'm trying to read my opponent, what's his next pass. I'm not chasing this little ball all the time. My goal isn't that. It's not. My goal is to watch his players and see what's his next move. So there I'm switching, as you can see, I'm not worried about the ball, I'm switching, I'm covering passing lanes. Here he switched to the center, uh, to his left wing, if I'm not mistaken, here. A as you can see, I'm trying to anticipate, look. Yeah, I switched to Panado Silva, see there was no one covering this player, but anyway, Walker's there. I can see what's he gonna do, he's gonna try and do a Travella or something. So as you can see, I push Walker because you see Walker's the closest and plus uh, and a Walker can run diagonally and block the angle so what I do in this instance I run with Walker and watch what Walker does run with Walker Walker blocked that angle there that was basically a block and it was a corner here for instance I watch what I do here I'm covering the passing lane with Varane I'm making sure he doesn't pass to him. So you see, my primary focus is not the ball. Covering, then, then you see, I think, sorry, second man press and I managed to get a ball over there. So you see, do not focus on the ball 24-7, guys. Do not focus on the ball 24-7. Remember this, focus on where the ball is going to be. I'll repeat myself. Focus on the ball where the ball is going to be. Focus on blocking angles. Number one, do not focus on the ball. Because if you do that and run after the ball, you guys saw in early examples what happened. Anyways, guys, if this video helped you out, smash a like and subscribe to the channel. This video took me two days to literally record. And anyways, guys, I'll catch you guys in the next video. If you guys want to learn now how to position your thumb when you left stick dribble, click on this video right here. Cheers, guys.